Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get your player to turn its head in the direction that you're looking inside of Roblox Studio. So let's get started. All right, guys, so what we're going to do first is go over to the Explore tab and we're going to drop down uh, the Star Player folder. And inside of Star Character Scripts, we're going to add in a local script. Now you can rename this, uh, but I'm going to just go ahead and start scripting. So first, we're going to go ahead and add our variables. All right, so first, we, we go ahead and add our service uh, variables so this is the run service and then this is the player service next we're going to add the factor variables and just like that we've added the um bot of the factor variables this is the head and then the horizontal vertical body horizontal her body vertical and then we added the player the camera and the mouse what these will do guys so basically this obviously local player because all this is literally all about the player the camera is going to call the camera function, meaning if we ever, because we're making the uh, player follow the our mouse or our the direction the camera is looking, uh, obviously we need these two. And yeah, so now we're going to go ahead and add the next of the variables. All right, so next that we have the body or the avatar variables. This includes the character humanoid, the R6 rig type, the head, the root part, humanoid root part. Uh, the torso the neck and the waist because again all of these um body parts will be involved to get this to work oh yeah and we also have two additional uh neck and waist variables um which is basically just for velocity just right here all right so here we're gonna uh, create a function that's gonna run the service or uh, run the render step to service and we're gonna create a function inside of um and we're gonna add a bunch of stuff in here and yeah, finally, we have the function. So basically what this will do is call the head and the torso and then make sure they're all in sync with the rest of the body parts Add a bunch of variables. And then uh, it's just a bunch of other angles and making sure that the body factor and the head the vertical and horizontal are all facing towards the direct direction of the camera, which is angled at. It's confusing. I know too, it took me a while to a little understand this. All right, and that is the rest of the uh, function. Now, what this will do, basically, we just add a bunch of more variables. And what this will do is basically call up all the body parts and make sure they're all um, in sync with the camera angle, making sure that the the neck, the head, the waist, and the torso are all actually turning uh, towards uh, the camera direction. It's a bit confusing. It took me a while to understand this part too. It's a lot of vectors and C frames. So if you do not really have any idea or haven't done, haven't don't have much experience with this stuff, it might be a little confusing. Uh, but yeah, now we can go ahead and test the game. Make sure your script is in start and start character scripts and not player scripts. Um, but yeah, we can just go ahead and play. All right, so now that we're loaded into the game, you can see that when I turn my head. Um, I mean, sorry, when I turn my camera, my head turns with it. Obviously, if you look behind your head, it won't really do anything because your head can't just 180, 180 degree turn um, backwards. Um, but as you can see, it might look a little funny with your animations too because your head and your torso are in sync. So if your torso sync, uh, like moves around a lot uh, because of your walking animation, your head might look a little funny. Um, but other than that, guys, uh, most games like Jailbreak or Mad City, they kind of have this. So this is a little good uh, add-on to add in your games. All right, guys, and that is it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Hopefully, this video did help you out. If you guys have any questions, be sure to comment down in the section below. And be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey, guys. So as you know, if you saw my new community post on my channel, I have announced our next Robux giveaway live stream. It will take place when the channel does hit 3,000 subscribers. Now, there will be a separate information video that I will post when the channel reaches 2,900 subscribers, which will give everyone enough time to enter. Now, the rules will be the exact same as usual. You have to be subscribed to the channel, be in my Roblox group, and comment down your Roblox username uh, on the information video. Now, like I said before, the information video is currently not uploaded yet. And it will be available at 2,900 subscribers. But what you can do now is go ahead and subscribe to the channel and join my Roblox group linked in the description below of all my videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. Good luck.